Recently, an old interview featuring Taylor Swift has resurfaced, igniting a wave of discussions on social media, particularly on TikTok. The clip, dating back to 2011 when Swift was just 21 years old, showcases her playful participation in a celebrity quiz segment on Rockel Ray's talk show. During this light-hearted segment, dubbed the Swift Decision Swift was asked about her ideal prom date. To the amusement of viewers, she selected a group of music icons to accompany her, including Sean Diddy Combs, alongside notable figures like Katy Perry, Jennifer Lopez, Sheryl Crow, and Justin Timberlake. In the playful atmosphere of the quiz, Rockel Ray inquired, who would you have taken to the prom Swift, radiating her characteristic enthusiasm, replied, it would be a group, and it would be a really fun group. As she revealed her choices, Ray jokingly teased Swift about the potential for an unusual prom date, saying, you're going on a freaky prom date when Swift proudly displayed the photos, Ray exclaimed, no way. Check that out. That's a group. Now, why? Why that spectacular array of people? Swift took a moment to reflect on each of her selections, offering praise for her chosen celebrities. When it came to Diddy, she expressed, Diddy's really always been very nice to me, adding a note of admiration that struck viewers as naive in light of current events. Ray responded, he's a gentleman, isn't he? He's a lovely gentleman to which Swift affirmed, I really he would be fun to be in the prom group. However, the resurfacing of this clip has taken on a much darker tone given the allegations currently facing Diddy. In September, he was indicted on serious charges, including sex trafficking, racketeering, and conspiracy, amidst a backdrop of accusations of sexual assault. This was compounded by video footage that emerged showing him violently assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura. The stark contrast between Swift's innocent admiration for Diddy in the 2011 interview and the serious legal troubles he now faces has left many viewers unsettled. As the TikTok clip circulated, viewers began to comment on the profound implications of the exchange, particularly considering the ongoing revelations about Diddy's alleged misconduct. The reactions varied widely, with many expressing a sense of disbelief over how perceptions can change over time. One TikTok user remarked, oopsie encapsulating a feeling of regret regarding their previous views on the artists they admired. Another commenter reflected on the naive nature of their younger selves, stating as a millennial we looked up to these people. We didn't know what was really going on. This is like fearless speak now, Taylor, she was like 19 to 21 here. Others speculated on the implications of Swift's praise for Diddy, suggesting that her comments were a reflection of her limited interactions with him. One user asserted, this is proof that she only knew Diddy in passing. If she thought he was a gentleman, she was on some high bias. This interpretation highlights the often superficial nature of celebrity relationships and how public personas can obscure more troubling realities. In light of the allegations against Diddy, some viewers theorized that Swift's comments about him might have been an attempt to maintain a positive image of a man who has now been accused of serious crimes. One observer opined, Diddy's always been really nice to me she was trying to save herself hinting at a desire to distance herself from the unfolding scandal. Another comment poignantly remarked, back when we were all so naive, expressing a collective sentiment about the innocence of youth and the often hidden truths about the figures they idolize. Adding another layer to the discussion, Fans began to appreciate the protective influence of Swift's family, particularly her mother, who has been known to provide guidance throughout Swift's career. One fan commented, Mama Swift would have never let Taylor hang out at Diddy's. I cannot even imagine. Gotta love that she had good parental guidance growing up in the industry. Love Mama Swift. This perspective emphasizes the importance of a strong support system, especially in an industry rife with complexities and potential pitfalls. The context of Diddy's current legal issues further complicates the situation. Last month, he was arrested on multiple federal charges, including racketeering, conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation for purposes of prostitution. Currently, he is awaiting trial at the Metropolitan Detention Center MDC in Brooklyn, which has a notorious history of housing high-profile inmates, including Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell, and R. Kelly. In discussing Diddy's condition while in custody, Prison expert Larry Levine shared insights during an episode of DailyMail.com's podcast, The Trial of Diddy. Levine stated that Diddy is receiving daily visits from a psychiatric team, noting, he's not really on suicide watch, but my inside source there tells me that there is someone coming by to visit with him several times a day, you know. To make sure that he's okay, this commentary raises questions about the treatment of high-profile inmates in comparison to the general prison population. Levine further mentioned that Diddy has been granted certain privileges while in custody, such as extra showers each week, although specifics on these privileges remain vague. As the discourse continues to evolve, the juxtaposition of Swift's innocent admiration for Diddy against the backdrop of his serious allegations serves as a stark reminder of the complexities that underlie celebrity culture. This incident has reignited conversations about the often hidden realities behind the glitz and glamour of fame, 
urging fans and observers alike to reconsider their perceptions of those they idolize. The sharp contrast between youthful naivety and the often harsh truths of adulthood reminds us that the world of celebrities is not only filled with allure but also with significant challenges and moral complexities. The ripple effects of this resurfaced interview highlight how public figures can find themselves entangled in narratives that shift dramatically over time. For Swift, this incident serves as a reminder of how perceptions can change as new information comes to light, challenging former sentiments and leading to a re-evaluation of past statements in light of current realities. As viewers engage with this complex story, it brings to the forefront the vital importance of critical thinking and awareness when it comes to the figures who influence our cultural landscape.